From a young age, Thomas Fincham has always been known for his Olympic diving, but his story goes much deeper than that. All you have to do is listen. So this is how it ends. This is where it all goes down. This is what I don't love you feels like. To be honest, music has always been a huge part of my life. Growing up, I always loved music. I always, you know, listened to it and sang everywhere I went. But um, it wasn't until recently that, like, I let everyone in on on my my love for music. I kind of, you know, decided that I wanted to take that jump and, and show everyone that I love this and I love to sing. And so I kind of just went after it. Being so busy, my mom actually asked me, you know. How, how do you think you're going to manage both of these things? You know, you're already, you have such a full schedule. And I, I pretty much told her, I don't think I could give this up just because I don't have enough time. I, I love it so much that I want to pursue it. I mean, even if it means getting in late some nights and, and being tired, I, I want to do this. And while his fan support has grown worldwide, his biggest fans still remain back home. His parents are really, really proud. I think it's cool for them to see, you know, that he's picturing something beyond diving. Obviously that's not something he's going to do forever. Um, you know, they're supporting him, they've taken him down to look at schools in Nashville and um, are definitely some of his biggest fans. I've always had the support of my friends and my family and they're the, they're the group that's always known that I can sing. Everyone else in the world has kind of known me as Thomas the Diver and it wasn't until recently, you know, I posted some things online and then everyone kind of was... I'm finding out and so now when I go to diving meets everyone's like since when can you sing I I didn't know why didn't you tell us this earlier and I want to go you might want to hold your hand forever never let you forget it cause baby I want to make you feel I think it's incredible that he puts so much time into the Olympics, like practicing six days a week for like, all day. It's, it's really a full-time job for him. And then on the side, he's trying to make this music thing happen too. So I just really respect him. Like I look up to him a lot. Like that's incredible that he can put the effort that he has to put into diving and then still be able to put effort into the music thing. Put your hands together. Do a little John there. This is Thomas Fincham. John. It was called Can You Rock, and it was downtown at the Rathskeller. It was a competition that one of my friends had done in the past, and I and I thought I wanted to do it, but that was kind of before I had, you know, told everyone that I want to do this singing thing and I want to really take it seriously. So I was kind of really nervous to actually go there and and do it. But it was an awesome experience. I ended up second, but it kind of was the thing that really told me, you know, okay, maybe I do have potential to do this and I want to pursue it. This next song we're going to sing is our first single that we ever released on iTunes back in December. It's called Baby I'm Gone. I don't know, I know most of you guys have heard it, but for any of you over there, if you like it, make sure to check it out on iTunes. It was just crazy because, you know, our song was up on iTunes, the whole world could pretty much hear it, and I mean, it was kind of that point where I was like, well, I can't really turn back now, you know. You know, I've known all these guys for an extended period of time, um, and so, you know, it's kind of how they came together as a band, just various friends that I've had throughout my life, and so, you just, you feel really proud of them on different levels. I've always dreamed of, you know, pursuing music, but it always seemed like such an impossible goal, like something that was so out of reach. And now it's all happened so fast. We're together, we're playing shows and doing stuff like that, and it's just it's almost surreal to be able to be doing something that I love so much and, you know, pursuing this dream. Although his future in diving is still unknown, his dreams of becoming a country music star are only beginning. For Ball State at the Games, I'm Josh Blessing.